What's up, Eleven Series Best Fan? It's your boy Cruz right here with Eleven Series Best Fishing. And I just want to say thank you uh, to everybody who has been subscribing to the channel, to everybody that has been leaving comments on my videos, and of course, all of you guys that have been liking the videos. I truly appreciate it. You guys are really helping me grow this channel. Um, last time I checked, I was at 97 subscribers. It's not 100, but I'm almost there, guys. My goal is 1,000 by the end of the year. And at the rate I'm going, it'll take me two years to get there. But you know, it is what it is. I appreciate the love. Make sure y'all continue to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. I appreciate it, man. So today, guys, as you guys know, I do a lot of review videos. That's what I like to do. I, I think as a beginner angler, I've only been fishing since last year, about June, when the, pandem when the pandemic really started, we got locked down. Um, that's when I really started fishing. I really started getting the best fishing. I had nothing else to do. So uh, now I'm hooked, right? That's what everybody says. Once you get hooked, you're hooked. So I like to redo, vid redo review videos because I think um, that as an angler or a bass fisherman, you need to try new stuff because people are always out there using the same baits. So if you're using the same bait, the fish get to know that and you don't get as many bites. So you need to try new baits and new things to help those bass see some difference and you can catch fish. Um, I catch a lot of fish. Um, I do go out sometimes and, and don't catch fish, but I, I try to pick spots and go to spots that I think will be the best for the lures that I'm fishing. So I use Google Maps a lot, I use Apple Maps a lot, and of course I go on there and I look at the satellite view so I can really see what the lake kind of looks like, even though they're not up to date, but I can see what that lake looks like around it. So today, guys, man, this is, this is gonna be a good one. And I'm actually kind of nervous about throwing these baits because they are a little expensive. The last two videos I put out were mega bass lures, right? And they were the mega bass lures that are kind of on the cheap side. So I'm, I'm taking a step up guys and I'm going to be fishing some of the expensive mega bass lures for you guys. So I'm actually kind of nervous about throwing these because I'm, I'm, I don't want to lose them, right? So today I am going to be fishing the mega bass S crank 1.2 and like I always say guys I buy them in twos right because you never know what color so I, I kind of pick the colors that I have for my waters right so I got them in two colors I have it in a sh black back chartreuse and then this one they're calling it a crawl they're, they're calling it an E2 crawl and I'm guessing that's supposed to be like easy crawl or e2 crawl easy crawl i like the color on that's why i picked it up so i picked these up um last week when i was in dallas and there was a bass pro shop right next to the hotel my daughter had a couple of hours of between when she had to be back at dance so i figured i'd go to bass pro shop and look around and i found these at bass pro shop I don't remember exactly how much I paid for them. I think they were like $19.99 or $18.99, but I'll put that down in the description, um, how much they are at Bass Pro Shop and then how much they are on the Mega Bass website. So let's go over these real quick. And then we'll get one tied on and we'll go up and see if we can't catch some fish, guys. Go. This one's got a hook stuck in the paper. There we go. Okay. So these are the Mega Bass SC Crank 1.2. They weigh 3 eighths of an ounce. They are 60 millimeters long, which I'll put that right there on how many inches they are. And they dive 1.2 meters, which is about four feet, 3.9 feet. So right about that four foot mark, which is the, the baits I kind of like to fish because my ponds are about six to seven feet deep in my neighborhood. So this is a perfect um, depth for what I'm looking for. This will be my first time fishing a mega bass. If you look at these, they got that really unique kind of head and body unlike any other. You can see there, they got a little hump right here into a really pointy tip, kind of like the um, six cents curve finesse it's got that really really pointy tip and what makes this one different is you can see that back hook uh, most crankbaits have them hanging off the back end 
where on these Mega Bash, you can see it kind of sits up on its back right there. And then if you look at the bill, it's definitely shaped more like a triangle, the bill is. You can see a, it's a square bill, but more like a triangle right there. And then if you can see the head, they're really narrow right there. You know, most um, square bills, they're, you know, equally round around the face, but these mega bass are not. You can see from right there that they're, it's like a pointy head. So it's gonna allow, I'm assuming it's gonna allow for that water to push off it. And with that bill, it's gonna give it a lot, a lot of action there. Um, these are, silent square bill so they make there's no rattle in them they have some really good hooks in them they're the long shank hooks i like short shank hooks but for the purpose of the video i am not going to change the hooks out on these because at 19 dollars i shouldn't have to change anything out these things should catch everything so that's that crawl color i like that um, dark black into that reddish and that deep deep yellow or that deep yellow and orange on the bottom and then let's pull out the black back chartreuse also oh, real quick so this crawl one is more like a matted color you can see it's not slick it's more like a matted kind of finish where the chartreuse is that polished finish I mean it's look how good that thing looks it's got that black back as it goes down into that chartreuse and that big fat belly and you can see the head also is the same i'm trying not to get trying to make sure it stays focused where the bill on this is that nice clear bill into that narrow head right there they're both the exact same there's no difference let's see it's got hard hitting action i like that three almost four foot diving so there it is guys, the Mega Bass S-Crank 1.2. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get these tied on. And I think we're gonna go with this one first. And we're gonna go to some of my favorite spots today. I got about three hours to go fishing before my wife and daughter come back home from a dance competition. And uh, we'll see what we get. I'll see you on the water, peace. guys here we are first spot we're gonna try to do maybe uh, 30 minutes 45 minutes at each spot and uh, yeah see if we can't catch something on this mega bass s crank 1.2 I'm gonna fish that chartreuse and black back first let's make our first cast Ooh, backlash. My, uh... My tension is uh, not tight enough. I was throwing a heavier bait yesterday. So I can see it floating on top of the water out there. Let's go ahead and start reeling it in here. It's definitely got a stronger pull than most crankbaits I've fished. I mean, it has a really, really strong pull. There we go. Now that tension set right. I can really feel it vibrating in the water. You know, this water is extra 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 dirty today with uh, all this rain we've been having here in Texas I'm throwing this on my loose hyper mag and my TP1 black it's a seven foot two medium heavy
I'm throwing it on 17 pound P-line fluorocarbon. I'll try to get to a spot where you guys can see it a little bit better. Oh, it definitely has a really, really good, a really, really tight wobble on it. And I mean a really tight wobble, guys. Got one, guys. Yes. Oh, drag, drag. Oh, he's a good bass, guys. Oh, he's a really good bass, guys. Oh, he's a... Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, he's a good bass, guys. Yes, he's not a monster, but it's a good bass on the mega bass, baby. Yes, I felt the line. I felt the line go slack, and then I just pulled, and there she is, guys. Check it out. My first bass on the mega bass, and it did not disappoint. She didn't get it in the mouth, but I will take it all day long, guys. I can't believe I didn't bring my bump board, guys. I have a, I, I do monster bass, as you guys know. So I entered their big bass challenge and I meant to bring my bump board out here, but I totally forgot about it. There we go. My first bass with the mega bass i probably said monster bass didn't i yep i'm sure i did here's my first bass with the mega bass guys check it out all right let's get a weight on her oh i'm hungry huh go zero it out 2.23 pounds guys first bass on the mega bass two pounds three ounces i'll take that all day long guys all right guys there she is nice size bass 2.3 pounds or two pounds three ounces i like it all right let's get her back in the water I've been doing my best to try to get these fish back in the water as quick as possible, guys. I had a couple comments saying I was keeping them out too long. Oh, she's ready to go already. See you later, girl. Get out of here. Yes. Whew. All right. Let's move on to the next. Let's move on to the next one, guys. Let's go back to the truck and uh, tie another one on. All right, guys. Here we are, day two of fishing the mega bass s crank 1.2 i caught one yesterday as you guys seen with the black back chartreuse and i'm still fishing the s e2 crawl which i'm i'm assuming that's easy crawl or something i don't know i'm just making stuff up guys so here we go this is spot number one of day two and we got a couple spots we're going to try to hit up. Um, I kind of waited for it to cool off a little bit. So we only have maybe about an hour and a half of fishing. And I just scared one off that was real close to the shore. So we're going to see if we can't get us one. Hopefully we can get us one here in this spot. There was one right there next to the shore. I scared them off. My loud, my loud, mass, my loud ass mouth. Three pounder yesterday, but... To me, guys, that's still not a mega bass, all right? And I guess from my ponds, it's not too bad. There is fours and fives in here, and some of these ponds, I know, got eight or nines in them, so just the fact of trying to catch these these bass oh there we go got one guys 
<laughs> Look at that. Yes. I'm gonna keep fishing this color because to me that that just doesn't count. Um, that is nowhere near a mega bass, but he tried to eat it, guys. Like literally, you can see that bass try to eat that crankbait. That is so funny. Mega bass, baby. That's what I'm talking about. He had, uh, this guy has, he has big ambitions. God damn it. All right, guys, let's get this guy off. There we go, guys. The mega bass. This guy right here. He has big bass ambitions. I'll tell you what, guys, he wants to be a big bass, so he is hunting for that big meal. Let's get him back in the water and let him grow up to get via a bigger bass. Get out of here, dude. See you later. There we go. I knew there was one in there. Another little guy. There we go. 11 Series Bass Family, another little guy. Not a mega bass, but another little guy. Another little guy with big bass dreams, right? All right, here we go, 11 Series Bass Family. One more on the mega bass, but like I said, it's another little guy. I'm trying to catch a big one. So I've caught two on this one. I'm gonna keep fishing this one until I catch a big one. Cause I think I've missed one already. Get out of here, dude. All right, guys, final spot of the day is do or die. I'm either gonna catch a bigger fish or I'm gonna catch a couple small ones or I won't catch nothing at all. We'll have to see. There we go. Got one, guys. Got one. Yes. Biggest one of the day. I'll take it. All right, all right, guys, check it out. He's about to flop and it's gonna come out of his mouth. I already know it. Yes, the mega bass, guys. Finally got a decent sized fish, man. Finally, there we go, guys. The mega bass finally caught a decent size. He's not a dink. All right, guys, there he is. Not a mega bass, but he's not a dink either. Let's get him, let's get a release on him. Get out of here, dude. What's up, 11 Shades Bass family? It's your boy Cruz right here with 11 Shades Bass Fishing. And that's it, guys. The Mega Bass S Crank 1.2 review is in the books guys what can i say about this bait did i catch some mega bass eh, no um i caught one decent sized fish 2.3 pounds with the chartreuse black back and then day two as you guys seen because day one i wasn't able to catch anything with this day two saw me catch three fish with this all of them small. Two dinks and maybe one that was a pound and a half maybe. So let's go real quick over 
the bait real quick. All right, this is a 3 8 of an ounce bait. It's 60 millimeters long. I'll put the inches right down there. And it dives 1.2 meters, which is almost four feet, which is perfect. Uh, what I liked about the bait, I really like this bait. I like the design. I like that narrow head into that narrow back end. I like that this hook is up higher. I think that um, was allowed the smaller fish, excuse me, the smaller fish that I caught allowed them to hook that better because it wasn't low, it was higher. And I think that prevented some snags also. I like the design of the bill. I like that square bill, but then it goes into that kind of a pyramid shape. can't say too many things that I didn't like about this bait. The hook seemed fine. I did miss a decent sized fish with this, but I think it was a catfish. I couldn't really tell, but it hit the bank. So the one flaw I see with this bait, as you can see, with one day of fishing, I've already got some chip pain in that. For a $20 lure, I shouldn't get that. There's no way that should happen. Not on a $20 lure. And you can see that I do have a bent hook right here. I don't know if that was yesterday or today. I did get it snagged on a couple different things. So that could have happened yesterday or today, but there is a little bit of a bent hook there, which is no problem. I, I had planned on replacing these hooks anyway. Do I think they're worth $20? I, I don't know. I'm gonna fish them a lot more. I'm gonna change the hooks out and I'm gonna go fish these again um, here in the next week or so. I, I do have a trip leaving for Vegas. So I'm gonna be out of town for a little while, but I am making a trip to Florida and I'm taking my fishing rods with me. So you may see a mega bass fishing in Florida. But um, yeah, I do like them. At, at this point right now, I can't say whether or not they're worth 20 bucks. I would I would think that a crankbait for 20 bucks would catch some more fish. I, it just may have not have been a day for crankbait fishing. So I can't sit here and say that it doesn't catch fish because you know the fish may not just one of these two colors today or yesterday. I mean, there's so many different factors that go into reviewing a bait and saying that they catch fish or they don't fish, catch fish. So I'm gonna leave that open, right? Um, 20 bucks for a crankbait. I bought them, I like them. Um, I'm not gonna say right now, like I said, whether or not this worth 20 bucks. But the Mega Bass S Crank 1.2, I liked them. If you don't have some, go pick some up. They fish different than regular crankbaits. They, they got a wider wobble in them and they kind of go off track and then they come back online. So I like that about them. I like the design, I like the shape and yeah. So once again, I would like to thank all of you who have been subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it. Today I reached 98. I'm almost at 100. That's gonna be great when I do reach 100. So continue to hit that subscribe button, guys. I appreciate it, man. And then turn off that notification bell. So that way you know when I'm putting another video out. And like always, guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Hit that like button, man. Hit that thumbs up, it's easy, man. Just hit that button. So until next time, I'll see you on the water. Peace.